Hello, my name is Host Eric. I am the host of Talking with Famous People. And tonight we're doing a series of videos on the different quadra types. And we're starting as a starting point with this socionics, sociotype.com uh, slash socionics slash quadra slash gamma. We're going to do gamma next. Gamma is the quadrant, the quadra. I don't know why I keep saying quadrant. Uh, I'm going to minimize this stuff, close this down. Okay. That includes the SEE, that's the sensory ethical extrovert. SEE is the ESFP. ILI, that's the intuitive logical introvert. The intuitive logical introvert is the INTJ personality type. That's Hami and Megabro, N-I-T-E-F-I-S-E. -E. Alright, it includes LIE, that is the logical intuitive extrovert. That's the ENTJ, that would be Chad or my uh, friend Kunkel. And it also includes the ESI, that's the ISFP. And the ISFP, I do know one, uh, but we don't really talk. And uh, we have Zach Zach Attack who comes, and he's an ISFP, and he ch chills with us sometimes. He doesn't really say much. Um, that's the Gamma Quadra, okay? So, one ethical, the ethical for Gamma is ISFP. One logical, the logical is ENTJ. One intuitive, that's the INTJ. And one sensor, that's the... ESFP that makes up the gamma quadra. Now let's read and it says here they are decisive, serious, and democratic. That means they don't like to sit and talk about things indefinitely. They like to come to a firm conclusion and move on to the next thing. Serious means they're not married. They don't favor TI and FE combined. They are not like Santa Claus. And the democratic thing we're going to address in a different video. Dominant mm -hmm. elements. The dominant IM elements of the gamma quadra are F I S E T E at N I. All gamma quadras types have these elements in their ego. Or super id blocks and tend to promote or favor their use over subdued elements. TE blocked with N I. Gamma types take a longer term view regarding efficiency and profitability given lower priority to the short term. Likewise, they tend to aim at the broader benefits of decisions rather than only those affecting themselves, giving them an inclination for self-sacrifice. Gamma types like to talk about where present trends are leading in terms of potentiality, potentially profitable events and short undertakings. Gamma types tend to give more value to ideas and concepts that are firmly connected to factual information. FI blocked with SE. Gamma types take a hard line approach regarding ethical principles and the punishment, even revenge, on those who break them. Gamma types place high value on personal loyalty once they feel a close relationship has been established. Gamma types like to discuss personal relationships in a realistic manner and are skeptical that jerks can ever become nice people, for instance. Subdued elements. The subdued IM elements of the Gamma Quadra are FE, SI, TI, and NE. These elements reflect aspects of reality which Gamma Quadra types prefer to keep to themselves and not discuss openly. FE blocked with SI. Gamma types don't tend to turn, don't tend to form or maintain groups based on fun, emotional interaction, but only take groups seriously to perform some common productive activity or discuss serious topics. Gamma types reject the idea that it's best to avoid confrontation so as not to spoil the mood of these, of those present. They prefer directness and. S settling or at least discussing disagreements. Hell yeah, Gamma on that one. Hell to the yeah. Gamma types have difficulty relating to emotional atmospheres connected to special dates such as public holidays. Hell to the yeah, Gamma types on that one. Hell to the yeah. TI blocked with NE. Gamma types do not see much point in deeply analyzing ideas that they see as having little practical application or connection to reality. Gamma types are more inclined to speculate and discuss possible developments of present circumstances or how those came about than to speculate or analyze alternative scenarios and possibilities. Group behavior. Groups made up of primarily gamma types tend to be small in size, perhaps six at most. Laughter and very obvious displays of emotion are subdued. Instead, there's a lot of smiling amusement and ironic and witty remarks when serious sub subjects or not very happy personal experiences are discussed a serious demeanor. Even such small groups tend to split into smaller ones. Perhaps three is the ideal size group for gammas. No, four. Quadrabble. Group discussions are focused on exchange of information and ideas on subjects of mutual interest, discussing and planning activities together and or personal experiences. The latter are usually discussed not with the purpose of making people laugh or to boast one's position, but to get an insight into lessons to be drawn from such experiences. Gammas usually dislike being drawn into larger groups where loud exchanges of jokes and quick shifting of one subject to another are the norm, as in large dinner table in an informal environment, especially if the group is also somewhat artificial, as in work colleagues or business partners where personal relationships really aren't spontaneously formed. 
In such situations, cameras will tend to focus on the persons sitting immediately near them in order to engage them in more personal individual conversations or will tend to remain mostly silent, not really participating in group atmosphere, making the impression of being introverts in the everyday meaning of the term. Once a group is formed, it tends to be wary for sometimes of newcomers being neither exclusive nor inclusive on purpose. Conversations often focus on trends regarding material and yet personal issues such as careers, prospects and development, success or failure of financial investments and enterprises and the future prospects of a romantic relationship as well as the reasons for the failure of past ones. In more lighthearted moments, such talks get a body flavor with some slight teasing. Uh-oh, INTJ getting body with some slight teasing. Other subjects tend to focus on internal work politics from the point of view of how it jeopardizes general efficiency. The nonsense of bureaucracy, fuck yeah! And how to That's be what better she said. than competitors. Thank, thank you. That's your body humor? Is that your body humor showing INTJ Mega Bro? I think it is. Okay, so let's stop there for right now and talk about that section before moving forward. Uh, I'm going to try to turn on my camera here if the computer will cooperate. There we go. All right. So, uh, I'm probably going to be doing a pretty sloppy job of keeping up with the chat. But Hami does says does say I've read somewhere that the Gamma Quadra is the most emo and dark of all the quadras. Okay. Um, anybody want to respond to that or anything else we read? Yeah, I, I understand what he means. It's the explain more. It's the ni mixed with it's the ni mixed with the fi. It's like where you express all these possible feelings in the outside world with ne and fe. We do it on the inside, and it's really hard to express. Right, we keep running into this fi word wall. Right, fi is the one. It's the word defined function, basically. All other functions can be explained in some sense and help people understand them better through words. But the best words to explain fi are it's the word defined function. Well, feeling is more complicated than even intuition, and so introverted feeling is like the hardest thing to explain. Right. Well, I, I like the explanation it gave where you said where it said that your types, if you conclude that someone's a jerk, you tend to think it's very unlikely that they're going to become a nice person. Whereas I think an FE person is likely to conclude that they're being a jerk for for other reasons and that that you know like shit like that. You know, there's I think FE is more likely to uh, I'll let people get by and uh, avoid blame. You know? I don't know if I'm that, um, that harsh on people in general. I think it's really hard to try to uh, put the ESFPs and the INTJs together into a quadra. Jay Z, can you be louder? Can you be a lot louder, please? Um, I think it's hard. Um, to put the INTJs and the ESFPs together in like a quadra and find the things that like we have alike. I don't know. I at the same time I do think there is some um, some validity to the quadras, the fact that we have both the same functions. I just think like all like we all jerks and think they're Okay. Just to make one one example from my observations, uh, specifically with INTJs and ESFPs, I see INTJs do have this kind of charming, like, or can have this kind of charming performing side to them, where they're actually like if they're really comfortable in a social situation, they can really like move the room almost. They almost become an ESFP. I just like if you look at all the movies where the villain's like an INTJ, right? But he has like this charming, like suave like side to him. Like that's like to me this like other ESFP aspect to them. And ESFPs tend to have like this vision for how they think the things should be done. Just in my opinion in my experience. Which is commonly how INTJs think. I mean, you know, ESFPs a lot of the time that I'm around, they tend to have this kind of vision for uh, how things should be orchestrated maybe or how to do something or I don't know. Just just my observations. Well, 
I will add that I like this quadra. I like ENTJs, I've decided. I, I didn't know I liked them, but Chad completely won me over. Uh, he, he just, he, he's like a, a diplomat for his type or something. I don't know. So, uh, I like ENTJs. I like EN, INTJs a lot, and I like um, ESFPs. Now, ESFPs, I know that ENTPs are known to have a very collegial relationship with them. A uh, relationship of mutual respect for some reason, ENTPs and ESTPs, and I found that to be the case. I don't quite understand what JC's doing, but I respect her. I don't quite understand what um, what <laughs> Evelyn, host Evelyn, my, my little eighth grader, is uh, doing, but I respect her. I respect that she's doing it well, whatever it is, you know? So um, that's that's one interesting thing I, I would note is that for me as an alpha, I like, I like Gamma Quadra, and I... They, they, they make sense to me on some level. I The ISFP is a little bit more of a challenge for me because for them I just feel like I need to kind of like, you must, you must, you must have some, where are you? It, it's like, it's like that kind of a thing. I feel around the ISFPs. But the other three types in the quadra I feel quite comfortable around in general. Okay, so let's move on to the next little bit of text, and then we'll get more feedback from others. Hello, Claudia. Uh, Claudia, I believe, we never did finish quite typing for her to figure out what she was. But, okay, so now we're going to talk about the gamma type, the gamma quadra. We're talking about the romance styles. It says, gammas usually have little time for romance in the wooing meaning of the term. Relationships tend to develop rather than as the meeting of two individuals interested in a relationship in each other. Elements of courtship or romance are seen as rituals with less meaning than the feelings involved. Relationships, also friendships, usually develop from exchanges of information, ideas, personal experiences of special significance, and mutual help proceeding to activities together. Gamma or romantic relation interactions tend to focus on the longer term prospects in terms of definition. That is, for instance, even if it is to be a temporary relationship, this should be more or less clear, or at least in one's mind, from the beginning. General impatience with flirting for flirting's sake or for fun approaches and moves are made with a purpose, which may be altered down the road nonetheless. Assumption that sexual innuendo and approaches are backed by some sort of emotional attachment. So we've seen in uh, ESFP JC, she's voiced this before, that would be consistent with her quadra to say that sexual innuendo and approaches are backed by some sort of emotional attachment. Once a relationship is established as being romantic, interactions tend to focus on physical and somewhat tough interplay and innuendo. Playful power games focusing on intensity of interactions and feelings. Okay, so that's what it says on the romantic thing. Anybody want to comment on that? Uh, regarding I mean it seems like a very a fairly no nonsense kind of approach to romance seems sensible to me I like a rational approach to such things uh, any comments from anybody JC do you feel like you identify with the quad or more when I'm reading about the romance tiles Okay, good to know. Uh, uh, go ahead, Mega Rope. Wait a second. Uh, what parts were you like eh, about? Because I've gone through this before and marked up these sentences based on cognitive functions. So if you have any questions. Well, I think the biggest thing for me in general is just with socionics. Um, the, their definition of SE mm -hmm. is not um, their definition of SE is not I don't I guess I don't I guess relate to it as much as MBTI definition of SE like socionics has it being very like power and structure well not structure power and control Well, 
I'm going to draw a corollary here. You know, there was a time when I was really thinking hard about any as a disruptive function inherently until the obvious hit me in the face, which is ENFPs don't treat it like that. And I think that's the thing, is they're taking SE as a control power thing because ESTPs use it like that. It's basically an ST thing. STs might use it like that, but SFs don't. And for me, S is simply the thing the difference between me continuing to do the same dumb thing it, it, S is the thing that made me not color in these things <laughs> that's what S is for me right S is the S E S E is the thing that made me not color in these things they just say Eric just fucking start the GTM you, you, you played with your chart long enough that's what S, S E is for me and it's not really but I mean I agree Sysionics use it as a control thing um, I, so I think there's an interesting corollary there between how I once thought of NE as kind of one-dimensional is possibly a good critique of Sysionics. Any other thoughts on that? Um, before we, go ahead, Megabro. The sentence, okay, there's not a whole lot of it here in the Romance Files about SC, but I do see it one sentence I marked up with it. Uh, this sentence I marked as SC and FI, at least what inspired them to write this. Um, once a relationship is established as being romantic, interactions tend to focus on physical and somewhat of interplay and innuendo, playful power games focusing on intensity of interactions and feelings. So, um, Are you asking I was wondering if you... He's just yeah, saying, he's you saying that much of what you disagreed with wasn't driven by SE, but that one part was driven by SE. Do you think you disagree with that part as well? Um, I don't know if I play power games, but the rest I generally agree with. Well, and of course, the issue is, do they mean that in a sexual, actual sexual intercourse context, or do they mean that in a relationship context? It's not really quite clear. So let's just leave that point a little bit muddy. And I think the probably the former. Probably the former. Okay. Yeah. Well, that would. I think that that's going to play out differently too. I don't like to think that. I think. I think just because people want to play power games during sexual intercourse doesn't mean they want to play power games in the relationship. Okay. So uh, let's move forward into the next and last section of this uh, page, which is about the perception of other quadras, and it says. Alpha. Gamma tend to perceive alpha types as creative, generally well-meaning, and friendly and pleasant people, especially as a group, as a first impression. Later, gamma tend to see alphas as lacking ambition in the longer term, overly concerned with sensorial pleasure and comfort, and overly demanding of and sensitive to external emotional expression without making much effort to focus on deeper feelings involved. Um, beta. Gamma tend to regard beta types as driven, ambitious people with a sense of purpose who can get things done <laughs> usually with very strong views as in political issues or ways of approaching work which gammas tend to see as not backed by sufficient factual confirmation therefore too ideological gammas also may regard betas as two-faced when bent on achieving a goal or too concerned with their social status and that of others within any given social group and lastly uh, gammas tend to perceive deltas as kindly, well-meaning, creative people, but perhaps too present-focused and lacking ambition with a longer-term perspective, as well as being overly welcoming and forgiving of people whom gammas may regard as undeserving. I'll try to keep my ambitions up, INTJs. That's how I, I avoid you just stopping being my friend, apparently. Um, I like all the types because I'm an ESFP. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you guys do? You like everybody? Yes, we like it. Well, I, I mean, I do. That's what I do. I like everybody. I seven nine two likes you. I like you. Okay, but he, here's an example. Here's an example of a couple of spots of conflict. Um, not conflict, but like where our values conflict. You know. Uh, I'm sure at some point JC thought, look, Eric, if you want to be, if you want to do something and be more successful in music, you probably shouldn't put up the, the half-assed, fucked up drums mix of that song. 
In fact, maybe you should just keep it pure and simple with just the guitar. Or maybe, you know, try to play a pretty piano part instead of just whatever random notes you happen to be playing at the time and then just trying to make it sort of go together in editing. She's probably thinking those things, you know? I, I would guess. I think that's an example of conflicting uh, quadra values because to me, of course, everything is contingent upon it being fun and new and interesting first. So I, it won't, I won't get anything done if, I, if I'm not playing. <laughs> Which is a, a handicap, as you can imagine. I, it's, it's a disability of sorts. It's, 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 it's not trying to get it up to par. Is that not playing? I mean, it's like, I don't know. Well, is it, 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 it is for as long as it's fun. It is for as long as it's fun. But see, the other thing is there's a light in the end of the tunnel thing, right? Where it's like, if I if it seems like it's a big project and there's a lot of work before I get it right, then I tend to get demoralized. So if I kind of have a loose sense of what right is in the first place and just kind of massage it, then it's even if I am trying to clean it up and make it more perfect, it feels more like playing. But that doesn't make me like, I don't know. I, I personally, I like deltas. Well, I, I like NFPs. I like, um, like, I, I find that I make a lot of NFP friends. Um, I, I like deltas as a good I, shirt. I like deltas. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I tend to get along with um, ESJs for obvious reasons. Okay. Um, any other thoughts about the interquadra relationships? I know that Mega Bro on occasion. I remember one time he asked me, "Okay, Eric, before we start talking about this, what is the purpose of this? Is it to to talk about it forever, or are you have? Is it to make money, or is it to complete this thing, or what?" <sighs> which which shows that he's learned to find out what he's getting into with an NTP before he starts talking about something. Because he knows that sometimes we're just talking to talk. Sometimes we're talking to get shit done and they sound exactly the same. It's pretty frustrating. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah, uh, I, Go ahead. I, I'm, still, I'm still frustrated with that we're not using a shared notebook yet. <laughs> right, because you, you want me to use something that I don't already use. If you want to share a Dropbox yeah. folder, I'll share a Dropbox folder with you. We can use that. That's a subscription thing, isn't it? Well, as you far have, as I there's, tell. A, there's a free a free level. It doesn't give you very much space. But if we're just trading documents, uh, if we're just trading like not not uh, video files and stuff like that. If we're just trading documents. Then it should be fairly. You should have plenty in the free uh, box. I thought the free was only like a one month trial. Oh, have they changed it? You used to have a free amount of space. I think you still do. No, you still do, because all my kids are on Dropbox, and most of them are on the free one. Okay, I, I must have not read it right. Well, I could just give you some documents. Okay. Um, let me invite you to a Dropbox folder. <laughs> you just put it in there. What, what I really want is for, and I need to talk to Tiffany about it, because we've got, it's easy enough to do. I could even just go set it up myself, too. I want to get a, a, a drop upload thing. You just drop files on and upload them to the Talking Fan People server and use that as like an FTP for people, you know? Uh, but I haven't set that up yet. So uh, I'll invite you to Dropbox folder. All right, and that brings this episode of Talking Fan People to a close. Thank you for watching. That was 24 minutes and 7 seconds of pure gold. <laughs>